Hey, this is Adam at BoardBrain. Today I wanted to show you how our three direct output modules connect to the Exelon system and to one another. So first of all, the TRS module gives you 12 balanced direct outputs, which you can use to send line level signals out from the Exelon system or your Eurorack system in general. So on the back, there are these two connectors. Each carries six signals or three stereo channels. On the back of the Exelon mixer, you have the same type of connectors. You have pre-fader output for channel one through three and post-fader output for channel one through three. And then you have the same pre and post for four through six right here. So you get to choose how you want to connect it. If you want the, the pre-fader direct out, you would connect to these connectors. If you want the post-fader, you would connect to these. So I'll take one of these eight pin cables and then I'll plug it into the first connector on TRS. And then I'll take another one of these cables, which are included with the direct output expanders, by the way. And I'll keep these also post fader. And that one will plug into this bottom connector. So now we've tapped in to the post fader direct outputs so we can record them separately or do whatever we want with them on these 12 balanced output jacks, so six stereo channels. Very simple. If I wanted to do pre-fader on one, I would connect it to the pre-fader direct outputs for those channels. The next module is the DB25. Now this has twice as many outputs, which are also balanced line level, but these are on DB25, which you would need some kind of balanced snake or patch bay or something that would accept these connections. So there's twice as many connectors on the back, there's four. So in this case, we could do the same thing. We could connect channels one through three here, which are six signals, stereo, because they're stereo. Then we can do also four through six on this one. And then in this case, we're gonna use the XP3 channel expander, which has the two identical things on the back here to connect the direct outputs for pre-fader and post-fader for seven through nine. So since it's exactly the same, we'll just do the same thing. Plug this one in, and then that comes out here. All right, and we still have one free. So we could actually use another channel expander if we have two XP3 or the upcoming XI3. Or on the mixer itself, there's actually one more direct output header right here for the two stereo returns and the main mix out. So if we wanted to use those instead, which is very handy actually, we can plug that into the fourth one here. Okay, and now we have 24 balanced outputs coming from the Exelon system direct out to these jacks, line level balanced. Um, with the TRS too, we could have used the returns or mix out A on one of these as well. Plus you can use two of these TRS modules if you want twice as many like you would get here. Okay, lastly, I'll unplug these four, is the IO module, which is completely passive actually, but this will allow you to tap in and give you Eurorack level signals out here in your rack, which you can patch into something else to make a sub mix or record. Like using our optics module, you could patch right from any channels you want directly into record. This one actually has five of the connectors on the back. So we could have a fully expanded system with two XP3 and get the returns in the master all on these connectors in the exact same way we've done it with, with the other modules here. But these come out at Eurorack level, which you can patch somewhere else and use. And again, we could have used pre-fader. We can actually use pre and post at the same time. So that's another way we can use this. We could have these two be pre-fader, one through three and four through six, and these be posts so we can patch one. Make submixes on one and record on the other. So it's very flexible. But lastly, the one thing that's uh, one of the more interesting things is that the IO module is called IO because it's input and output. So any of these banks can be used as an input or an output. So in the case we were using with Exelon, these are all considered outputs. But if you pair them up with either of these two modules, like the TRS or the DB25, now you can use this any of these channel banks as inputs for these modules. So I can directly connect without the Exelon at all, channel, these, this first bank here, right, to feed TRS directly in right here and now when I mount these two modules together I can patch any signal into these first six and they will emerge from these first six. 
um, and then I can do that with the second bank and so on, and I could even use multiple TRS. Alternately, I can use the DB25 and have even more channels and actually connect the entire I.O. except for these last stereo jacks to this and get 24 balanced outputs out of any Eurorack system. So I.O. can be used as inputs or outputs and it connects the exact same way it does to the Exelon system using these 8-pin cables which are included with the output modules. So I hope that clears things up for everybody. I uh, really appreciate you watching and your interest in our products. And if you have any other questions, hit us up on the website or come see us at any of the events we're at. Thanks a lot.